Hello all. Starting with new topic that is tracking the schedule. Now tracking the schedule in the sense to have a follow up कि जो हमने schedule बनाया है वो properly follow हो रहा है या नहीं. The project schedule is a road map which defines the task and milestones that are to be tracked and controlled as the project proceeds. Tracking can be done in a number of different ways. By calling project status meetings periodically in which team member reports progress of assignments and tasks. Now, as we can see, project schedule is basically a road map which defines ki kaun sa task hua hai. Wo schedules hume help karta hai samajhne mein ki kitne task complete hue hai, kitne milestones humne achieve kiye hai, kitne baaki hai, unko kaise control karna hai, kaise complete karna hai. Ye sab you know no, acknowledge karne mein help karta hai. So these tracking can be done in a number of different ways. जैसे हम periodically meeting conduct कर सकते हैं जहाँ पे सब department अपने अपने हिस्से का काम report करे where they will ensure that they have the proper reports and files ready, documented forms ready. So as to uh, show कि कितना assignments कितना task complete हुआ है which they were given. Evaluating the reviews during the software engineering process. यानी सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग जब हम करते हैं जब हम एक्टिविटीज चेक करते हैं तो उसमें रिव्यूज इन द सेंस मैटर करता है कि ओके okay, क्या हुआ है कितना बाकी है सेटिंग टेंटेटिव प्रोजेक्ट डेडलाइंस दैट हैव बीन कम्प्लीटेड बाय द स्केड्यूल डेट यानी टेंटेटिव इन द सेंस एक अंदाजा दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सबमिटेड बाय दिस दिस डेट एंड दिस दिस लाइन सो इवन द डेट इज फोर डेज लेटर विल कीप इट फोर डेज बिफोर सो दैट वी अचीव वॉट वी हैव बिफोर टाइम कंपेयरिंग द रियल स्टार्ट डेट टू द इंटरनेट स्टार्ट डेट फॉर एवरी प्रोजेक्ट अब एक रियल स्टार्ट डेट जो हम बोलते हैं कि ये नहीं इतना तो स्टार्ट ये डेट पे होना ही चाहिए एंड प्रैक्टिकली व्हेन इट वाज पॉसिबल टू स्टार्ट तो दोनों के बीच में डिफरेंस कितना आया है उसके हिसाब से भी वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वे द प्रोजेक्ट इज गोइंग मीटिंग्स कैन बी टेकन इनफॉर्मली विद रिसोर्सिस टू ऑप्टेन द प्रोग्रेस ऑन द गिविन असेसमेंट सो इनफॉर्मल इन देंस वन टू वन जाके वगैरह वैसे भी पॉसिबल हो सकता है so all of these tracking techniques are used by the project managers to gain an insight knowledge of what is happening in the project what is the percentage we have been covering in that project if things are going well that is the project is on schedule and within allocated budget reviews are good and progressing milestones are achieved then we say the control is normal yani sab cheez jo humne jaise plan ki hai it is taking place that way accordingly But if the problem occurs, project manager has to control them as quickly as possible. After that problem has been identified, additional resources may be focused on the problem areas. यानी काफी बार ऐसा होता है कि you see a lot of difference between what we have planned to start and what date we have actually started. So if there is a lot of difference, if the milestones are not completed, not achieved, let's say जो भी task दिया है before deadline it is not completed, then we need to focus on that problem. We need to make sure that what is affecting that part of the system which is taking so long. So if it needs extra resources, we need to uh, make sure that there are additional resources which we can accommodate for that part of the system, or we can reschedule the project timelines, deadlines, and make sure that it is still manageable. If the project manager is facing with deadline pressure, experienced project managers sometimes have to take the decision about the project scheduling, and this control technique can be called as time boxing. मतलब अगर project manager को खुद को ही नहीं समझ में आ रहा है कि उसको खुद को pressure आ रहा है deadline का and he is not able to take control of it, then other people who are experienced in their projects that those project managers basically then have to be involved and unke decisions ke hisab se scheduling wapas uh, dekhenge compare karenge and wo pura control le lenge project ka because the current manager of the project is not able to handle so other project managers the experience one from different projects will take control of it which is called as time boxing yani thode time ke liye hi they will take that control the time boxing approach identifies that the whole product may not be delivered by the predefined target hence an incremental software process is taken into consideration and a schedule is preceded for each incremental delivery yani time boxing approach aisa hai ki kyunki deadline nazdeek aa raha hai aur humko pata hai ki entire project entire software we are not uh, it is not possible for us to give that within the time so what do we do we give an incremental deliveries so hum kya karenge wapas schedule aisa banayenge ki parts by parts mein wo software increment release hote jaye तो वो टाइम बॉक्सिंग अप्रोच होता है नेक्स्ट इज टाइम लाइन चार्ज नाउ टाइम लाइन चार्ज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज वन ऑफ द टेक्निक्स फॉर ट्रैकिंग द स्केड्यूल 
timelines are very important in project management because they help to visualize time related activities organization of tasks set deadlines and how to define delays yani kyunki hum timeline charts banate hain iske liye humko pata chal jata hai ki kitni activities properly time pe complete hui hai kitni delay ho rahi hai kin ke deadlines meet hue hain which are way ahead of deadlines and which are way beyond deadlines the diagrams are useful for managers who want to get a high level look at their sales task or reviews at any time related activities yani sabko pata chalna chahiye that what they have to perform what they have to do and what tasks are completed and what not timeline chart helps to visualize three main time frames now timeline chart basically teen important cheeze deta hai first is the plan time that what time we have planned according to that we will describe what progress it takes place how long it takes to complete a given task next is the forecasted time forecasted time matlab ek andaza ki ye ye uh, parts mein ye ye problem ho sakta hai to so and so deadlines hai lekin hum usko itne do char din aage piche uh, extend kar sakte hai so that is the forecasted time the forecasted time basically helps to decide you know ki proper project ka task ka planning hua hai ki nahi properly wo task manage ho raha hai ki nahi aisa nahi hona chahiye ki kyunki deadline is meeting yani uh, nazdeek hai to hum randomly kahin pe bhi low quality software ya low quality product develop karke de de so forecasted time basically ye estimation deta hai ki agar 5th of march is your deadline then it can be extended to 8th or 9th of march so that you develop a good quality product next is timeline components now timeline components are the diagrammatic representation of the task timelines may be highly detailed or simple they can contain hundreds of tasks or sub tasks or have only a few deliverables now based upon the project and based upon the organization ki unko kitna detail mein chahiye us hisab se hum timeline mein components include kar sakte hain few are diagrammatic representations while uh, matlab they will be very detailed or with having tasks sub tasks and everything while others will be very simple of having only few important deliverables that's it if anyone wants to build a timeline to their goals they have to pay attention on the following set of task and objectives to be completed approved dates and deadlines dependencies between task expected durations of the task yani ye sab cheeze consider honi hi chahiye purpose of timelines now what is the purpose of the timeline the purpose of the timeline is to make sure that jo bhi humne plan kiya hai wo activity sari usi according wohi schedule ke according run honi chahiye timeline charts are considered as better for having projects for many people it doesn't insist for a time or much efforts from the chart online project timelines are as same of the gantt charts as these both diagrams types are concerned with the time and events and ye kya karta hai complex project ko simple banane mein help karta hai to understand ki kitna time lagega uh, kitne time mein humne kitna percentage of the ye cover kiya hai and so on so it basically gives a detailed knowledge of the project completion uh, or say how the project is progressing next video we'll see earned value analysis